Greetings everyone out there on the World Wide Well. I'm Dave Householder and uh, blessed to be your Bible teacher coming to you from the, the tool shed here at our trailer out in the Anza Brego Desert as uh, the country sort of is divided as to how to come out of this pandemic. And I'm sure that uh, if you put your hand in that garbage disposal, it's no fun. And we want to listen to one voice and that's the voice of the Lord as we come out of this because Throughout history, people have gone through difficult times. And if you look at the Bible, there was a very difficult time in the 600s BC, that's before Christ, at the time of Nahum the prophet. Now, you've probably never spent much time thinking about Nahum. And you could go down to Walmart and you could interview 100 people and ask them what they think of Nahum, and they probably won't have much to say about the prophet Nahum. But uh, the prophet Nahum is a brilliant writer, beautifully uh, put together, almost like poetry does a great job of talking about a very difficult time. They were from a small country, Nahum, the country of Judah, about the size of an American county, with uh, its county seat being Jerusalem. And there was a superpower named Assyria that was on its way down. And the capital was Nineveh. And if you remember from Jonah, Jonah went to Nineveh and the people repented and things went well. But a uh, hundred years later, Nahum uh, showed up at uh, Nineveh and things didn't go quite so well. They didn't respond as well. And Assyria went down in flames and Babylon took over as the big superpower of the day. Well, in the midst of all of this, Nahum says some rather profound things. This is in Nahum 1, verse 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of distress. And he knows those who take refuge in him. As a flood running forth, he will bring an end to the distress and he will pursue his adversaries into darkness. Now we think in terms of, hey, are the Republicans or the Democrats or whoever gonna take charge here and make this thing happen? But the truth is, they don't have any power that the Lord doesn't give to people. There's only one voice that matters in the end, and that's the Lord's. And if we take, rescue, if we take refuge in him, he is a stronghold in the time of distress. So are you taking refuge in an ism, conservatism, liberalism, some ism, or are you taking refuge in the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, the one who brought forth life in you, the one who uh, guides you through your life, the one who directs and conducts the universe? There's only one voice that matters in the end, and that's the Lord's. And we're gonna be listening to that voice. Uh, we're going to be opening up the church, and we're not exactly sure when, but our trustees are gathering tonight to listen to that one voice, the Lord. And we're not going to listen to pundits, and we're not going to listen to political people on either side. We want to listen to that one voice. That's what Nahum was calling people to do. And they didn't, and the city fell. So I think it's so important that in times of distress, we turn off the TV, turn off cable news, and listen to that one voice that's going to bring us through this because he is our stronghold for those who take refuge in him. You have a wonderful rest of your day, and we will talk to you again tomorrow.